Hello YouTube, this is Daniel La Palma here today to show you an update of Night at the Museum's museum in Blender, which is called the New York Museum of Natural History. Now I know in my previous video that I showed you, um, that I made from scratch though of the same museum though, but only this time I decided, well actually, I finally find a way to rip it off from another software called Ninja Ripper. Well the thing is, is that, um, when I ripped it off from Ninja Ripper, I used a Dolphin emulator, and I extracted it to a Wii game in there. And then what I did is that I, um, I play the game, and then when the museum comes on, though, the scene comes on, I, um, hit, um, a specific key, though, a shortcut. It's called print screen, and then I hit insert to stop ripping off. And then once I did finish that, though... I put it in another software, animation software called 3D's Max, and then I uh, and I exported it all to Blender. As you could see, that's how I did it. So anyway, um, let's get started right away on doing a tour of my new version of Nine the Museum's New York Museum of Natural History. So I want you guys to get a good look at this very very clearly, as you can see. It's very detailed now, with, with more details, though. So first off, we're going to start with um, this thing right here, which is uh, where Theodore Roosevelt is. Everyone calls him Teddy Roosevelt, though. He is the 26th president of, the, of our country. And if you look over here, folks, you could see we have an audio tour box. And when you press that red button on top of there, an audio um, describes what an object or one to display is, what people are looking at. So here's what um, Theodore Roosevelt says. Greetings, I am Theodore Roosevelt, 26th President of these United States. Welcome to the New York Museum of Natural History. Follow me as we venture forth into Roosevelt Alive. Greetings! So that's that. And next we have in the lobby is... Is this T-Rex skeleton named Rexy. Larry calls him Rexy because he's really a Tyrannosaurus Rex. As you can see, we have another audio tour box right here. What Tyrannosaurus Rex is all about is that with massive 9-inch teeth, so ready like curved thick daggers that could also crush bone, Tyrannosaurus was possibly the largest flesh-eating land animal of all time. One of the last surviving dinosaurs before their mass extinction 65 million years ago, Tyrannosaurus trailed herds of plant-eating dinosaurs picking off the weak, young, and sick. Interesting, huh? You can see he has a long, long tail, as you can see. So I want you guys to get a good look at the T-Rex. As you can see right here and here, and right here, and then here and here, and there, as you can see, we have our benches for the people to sit and relax. And also, as you can see over here, we have is an arch window, and we have our three revolving doors for the people to walk in and exit, enter and exit. When I ripped it off from Ninja Ripper, though, and when I saw the results in 3D Max, I was very impressed how the textures are not wonky, though, but the meshes were kind of, like, um, not placed right, though. So that's why I had to, um, I had to place the meshes where they were, though, just like in the game. But some of the meshes, though, are placed where they were, but some meshes aren't. That's why I had to, um, look at the uh, game on YouTube very carefully to see which one to place which is the right place to place it. So anyway, here's the, um, as you can see, we have is the front desk with a globe. Here. Here, let me just, um... Yeah, 
Okay, there we go. As you can see, you can see that's the front desk. And as you can see here on your left, we have is a telephone when if, if someone gets a phone call. And then here we have as a sign that says the New York Museum of Natural History. That's the place. But the real place in the movie, not the museum, was the American Museum of Natural History. But only the inside of the museum, which is as you can see right now though, was was filmed in a studio. And made in a studio. Because each exhibit though, it, other exhibit is are not completely accurate attached to a wall though, other wall though. It was it was it was it was each individual part of the exhibit that was apart from a wall though was filmed for the movie. That's what I asked my mom about, though. That's why, as you can see, a door here, though, is closed due to the fact that um, it was closed to another m exhibit, though. But the only exhibit we have, though, on the second level, on the second floor, though, is is the Temple of the Pharaoh of Achman Ra. As you can see, there's a sign right here on the second floor. We'll, we'll get to the uh, second floor later, but right now I want to show you some other things we have at the, the first floor. So as you can see here, this one to display we have is the Aztec Pyramid in, in Central America. But unlike the massive sandstone tombs raised by the Egyptians, Central American pyramids like this Aztec example used a step construction with a temple or altar located on top. The Aztec people dominated Central Mexico in the 14th through 16th centuries before being defeated by Spanish invaders. You can see we have another audio tour box. See, when you press the big red button up there, like I told you earlier, an audio describes what the object is, what people are looking at. This next one on display we have is, is from Native America. With the tents and stuff. If you look over here, we have is... Larry Daly's office. As you can see, the walls are fully detailed now. Uh, the textures, due to the fact that um, is um has green bricks. As you can see, and here we have is the lockers where Larry keeps his flashlight and keys in, though as a safe place. Anyway, as you can see, the next one on display we have is the Grand Canyon. But as you can see, a canyon is a deep gorge carved between cliffs, most often by the action of a river over hundreds of years. But canyons may also be formed by other processes, such as a geologic uplift of the surrounding land. But I've been to the Grand Canyon a couple times, though. I've been there to see the Polar Express at the Grand Canyon Railway, and I went with my uh, classmates uh, for, as a um, a um, a weekend um, class and family trip. So that's that. And then the next thing I want to show you is this tree trunk that has lots of rings inside. But as you can see... The age of the oldest trees is determined by counting their growth rings, typically one ring per season of growth. But trees that grow in tropical climates grow continuously and do not have growth rings. The greatest verified age of a tree is 9,550 years for a specimen of Norway spruce.
Next we have is the Nautilus shell. You see, the Nautilus is a cephalopod which translates to head foot. It is the same class of species as the octopus or the squid. However, the Nautilus is the only cephalopod with a shell. Nautiluses feed mostly on shrimp, crustaceans, and small fish, which they capture with their tentacles. You can find these uh, shells sometimes at the seashore or in the ocean. As you can see, we have is a one seed over here. And another seat over here for the people to sit as well. And you see those green things over here and all around the, the museum we have is uh, decorative um, plants. Because the museum has to be uh, decorated for like um, purposes, you know. It's like, um, like um, you know there are fake plants though. Or sometimes real plants though. But I should say there are fake plants though. Or whatever. So uh, that is the um, first floor I want to show to you of the um, the museum. Now, if we go to the uh, second floor, which I'll, which I'll get you on that. As you can see over here, we have is the Easter Island head, where where he says, Hey, Dum Dum, give me gum gum. <laughs> it's kind of funny, huh? But really, this head represents a moi, one of the largest stone statues found on Easter Island in the Pacific Ocean. Almost all moi is carved from volcanic stone quarried from an extinct volcano on the island. Each moi is supposed to represent a dead chieftain or important person. And as, we sh and as I told you earlier, we have as a sign for an exhibit in the back. It's called Ackerman Ra, Pharaoh's Tomb. And you can see on the left and right, we have as a pictures of the golden tablet. And as you can see over here, we have is a little drinking fountain for people to drink water. Because we all need to stay hydrated, though, especially on, in hot weather. That's for sure. And finally, uh, this exhibit we have is the Temple of the Pharaoh, Ogman Ra. Now, this really took place in, uh, in ancient Egypt. As you can see, we have is the Anubis statue. But really, Anubis is the jackal-headed god of Egyptian mythology, associated with death, mummification, and the afterlife. He is particularly important as a guardian of the dead and their tombs. And as you can see, we have in the left and right, we have our window, dis our glass display cases of each important things related to Egypt. And we have as another EB statue on the left. And hanging on the wall right there is, is the tablet of Akman Ra. You see it's shining gold. And also, as you can see, if I can zoom in here, is we have important details of the cobra and the lightning strike and the animal's paw and the um and the gear right here and many more of these and the sword which represents the tablet and as you can see on the right and left we have our small tombs which people can walk in though because if you came to visit him after he died you could see you could send him some presents like food and you could even write him a letter. But as you can see, all the walls here are uh, Egyptian writing with different pictures. And 
And as you can see in the side this bin, we have is King Augment Ra, which is really is a mummy though at first, but now he's a king. But I especially like the tablet though, which I was really impressed how I wrote, wrote it off for Ninja Ripper as well. Now, one thing before we go that I want to really want to tell you what I want to what the what the, well, the reason why I decided to rip it off for Ninja Ripper is because. I always wanted to do this uh, from scratch, though, though, which I did, though, but I always want to rip it off from Ninja Ripper for the most part because I need to figure out exactly what Ninja Ripper software exactly I should do and what um, software before Blender I should really do, though. But 3D Max was the one I need to do, but which Ninja Ripper software I need to basically do, though, because what I basically did is that... um. I, I picked off an emu emulator, which you could do from GameCube or Wii, whatever games you like to play. And you can put it in Ninja Ripper, though, and then when you hit launch, though, it takes you out to Dolphin Emulator. And then I clicked on Night the Museum Battle of Smithsonian, which is I, which is I uh, downloaded as well, though, and I put it on Dolphin Emulator. And then when it plays, though, and when the museum part comes on, though, you, I, I hit um, print screen though, and then I hit insert to stop. Print screen is to start, and insert means to stop. And then after that, and like I said earlier, which is I, which is uh, basically um, what I just uh, did though. I, I first opened up in, in 3D Max, and I exported it to Blender. And when I open up in Blender, um, it's the same uh, textures though, and the same uh, details as the one in the video game though, basically. And as you can see, uh, I haven't shown you yet, is we have is a stone pebbles, though. As you can see, how it's, um, really, uh, it's supposed to be like a stone, um, a ground texture, though, as you can see. But it, but it's really, um, it's really like, um, it's supposed to be real stones, though, but only they're like flat stones, though. Because people don't get a, a fancy walk when they walk on this, uh this area here. So anyway, that completes our tour of the New York Museum of Natural History. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And feel free to comment on this video if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And share with your friends and family if you like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you guys.